Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Welcome back. I'm here with the short hair. I'm filming in my old filming room. Uh, I wanted to kind of like totally redo the background, so I'm switching this background up from what it was last time. We've got a new thing going on. I do have, oh, I've got some like pit, oh, I'm gonna knock over my water. Um, I do have like some photo art framed stuff that I wanna hang up um, and then wallpapered this door so that when it comes in frame you see the wallpaper and then I'm gonna have like plants and stuff like it's it's evolving so this is it in its earliest stage uh, today what I wanted to do is an empties video so I actually have under here I have a giant bag full of garbaggio that I have been saving for several months so I'm excited to share this with you guys. It's a lot of like shampoo and conditioner. Um, I don't think there's much makeup just because I tend to like not save makeup empties. I don't know, but it's a lot of stuff that I think you guys, ooh, I don't like when my hair does that. Uh, it's a lot of stuff that I'm excited to share with you guys. So before we get into it, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram because that's where I am when I'm not on here. And we can get into these empties. I need to like move my drinks. I'm actually really excited to be doing this because now I can, you know, throw all this stuff away because it's just kind of been sitting around. So let's start off with the Redken All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner. These are the jumbo salon sizes. I love this stuff. Um, and this happens to me every time. Ulta has a sale on these big liters of shampoo and conditioner. Buy two, get one free. And I always get so excited and I buy them. Uh, the only problem is that I get tired of shampoo and conditioner. It's not that it doesn't work as well for me or anything like that. It's just like I like trying new shampoo and conditioner regularly. So I took way too long to use these because in... The process of using these, I was also purchasing other shampoos and conditioners. Okay, next we have more Redken All Soft. These are again just like the traditional size. Uh, this size is the size I would recommend to most of you guys, just because you really don't need those liters unless you're like working in a salon, you're using it for a whole entire family, you have a ton of hair. Um, I feel like this is just like a more practical size. John Frieda. Brilliant Brunette. This is the Visibly Deeper Edition. So there's also one that has um, a blue stripe and I think that's just like the Brilliant Brunette one. I really was impressed with the shampoo of this. It's very dark, rich, brownie batter brown um, and it really does make your hair look visibly deeper after using it for a while. If you're looking for something to refresh your color, I think the shampoo will do a better job than the conditioner, but it's a shampoo and conditioner. They're amazing. They're really great for kind of like fighting frizz, just making the hair nice and clean. And um, yeah, nothing but positive things to say about this. I love the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette line. One of my all time favorites, it is. <laughs> this is the Saqqara Life Detox Water Concentrate. Um, Saqqara is a really cool brand. They make a lot of, well, they actually make all plant based stuff. Um, but this is their chlorophyll water. So if you guys have seen it, it's like you can take like the chlorophyll concentrate, add it to your water. It gives you all 72 trace minerals. It is chlorophyll and magnesium. It's the detox water concentrate superfood. I really enjoyed this and I did repurchase. Um, it's just, it's nice to add to your water. You get like a little bit more minerals and stuff like that. So I liked it. I repurchased just so you guys know, but this is an empty one of the two. It comes in like a little, um, like little dropper, you know, you squeeze it and then drop it in the water. I saved the box to share with you guys, not the bottles. I don't know. Next thing I pulled out are the Dove Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. The both of these are in the crushed macadamia and rice milk version. I love this stuff. I think if you self tan or have really dry scaly patches on your body from eczema or any type of other skin condition you would really like this one because it's more of a sandy gritty exfoliant it's very fine and it's honestly kind of like a uh, microdermabrasion crystals uh right now in my shower i actually have the pink one which is i think pomegranate and it smells like a pink starburst so highly recommend <laughs> i feel like my hair is just not going to be cute for this entire video because i have to keep bending over and grabbing it out of the bag. So it's just getting messier and messier every time. So the next one is the, whoa, that was so violent. This is the Kristen S uh, Weightless Shine Leave-In Conditioner. 
This is my favorite de detangler that I've ever tried. It's so lightweight and it makes your hair so shiny and it, it really does feel weightless. Like it, all the claims she makes for this stuff I find are so true and um, I repurchased because this is my favorite de detangler I've ever used. So I do want to talk about this one um, just because I, I think that this is going to be kind of useful to some of you guys. This is the Neutrogena Tea Gel and I also really like uh, Tea Sal as well. If you have any type of scalp condition, eczema, psoriasis, um, just any type of like scalp issue, uh, I would highly recommend checking out Tea Gel or Tea Sal, doing a little bit of research, seeing which one's going to work for your scalp condition specifically. Um, tea Gel works really well for me and helps with eczema patches in my scalp. Um, I know that for my sister, Tea Sal really helps with her scalp because she has a scalp issue as well. It's kind of like by her hairline and um, she uses Tea Sal like couple times a week and it really helps kind of keep that at bay um, and yeah this is not the most glamorous product to have in your shower but it's really really made a huge difference in mine my scalp <laughs> so um, I repurchased as well I think in my shower right now I actually have tea cell which I like a lot too so just you know Mika perk up dry shampoo one of my favorites it's a really nice fine powdery dry shampoo this stuff is really great it smells amazing i'm not repurchased because i have too many dry shampoos that i need to work through and actually i see another dry shampoo so i'm going to just talk to you guys about this one it's the fakai blowout dry shampoo uh, i have talked about this in a favorites video and if you can hear that it's still like halfway full which is so frustrating because I'm like really working on this nozzle and it, uh, it does not come out. So this smells amazing. I love this because it goes on the hair virtually clear. This one has one of the least white, one of this, how do I want to say this? This one has one of the least noticeable white casts in a dry shampoo that I've ever tried. Um, it's really comparable to a more expensive one by Shu Uemura and it's just, it's amazing, but this is such a bummer. Like, just doesn't work. Orbe Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo. Love this stuff. Uh, it's actually really clarifying. Like when I use this, my hair is so clean. So this is not the type of shampoo that I use when my hair is not that dirty because this makes my hair feel like squeaky, squeaky clean. So I like to use this when my hair is really dirty. It's an amazing shampoo. Highly recommend. Orbe is very expensive, but I truly do feel like it's worth the splurge. Love this and repurchased. I have a brand new one. Next, uh, this is the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. This changes your hair. It reconstructs breakage. It really helps with just damage, just hair that's been annihilated. This can really transform your hair. And I've actually had three of you guys that I've met in person, just randomly seen you guys out and about, three different girls told me that they purchased this because of me and it changed their hair. And I was like, see, that is why I do these videos so I can share all these amazing things with you guys and hopefully like help you find a couple products that you like along the way. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I really love this stuff. I like the one that comes with keratin more, um, but I haven't repurchased this, not for any particular reason. It's just, I feel like I have other stuff that I need to work through, but really love this stuff, would highly recommend. Sorry, the pile's getting bigger. I'm putting them in like a pile to actually throw them away now. The L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. This is the one that's yellow. You guys might be able to kind of see it. I love this. I think this is so comparable to other high-end hair masks. And it really does just make your hair buttery soft and it smells good. And it's just a really nice, thick, hydrating leave-in mask that you rinse out. It's like you leave it in for a deep conditioning and then rinse it out. <laughs> I'm just going to put it all on the table in front of me so I don't have to bend down because I'm low key like it's making me sick to my stomach much how much I have to keep bending over it's just like whew. okay we have a ton of stuff to talk about is this gonna be too much okay actually let's start off with these two 
body products and then we'll move fully into skincare. So the first thing is the Origins Gloom Away Grapefruit Body Wash. I am so down with Grapefruit Body Wash. So I was actually really excited about this. It smells so good. I love grapefruit. It's one of my favorite things in the entire world. Um, but this didn't suds up as much as I wanted it to. So I don't know. I just wasn't like feeling that. I love Origins, but this body wash just didn't like lather enough for my taste. So next we have the Glossier Body Hero. I loved this stuff. I went through it pretty quick. Um, quick? Quick? I went through it pretty quick. Uh, it's a really hydrating body cream. It's definitely more thick than a lotion, so if you're extra dry like me, you'll love it. Uh, and it has this really beautiful Glossier Pink shimmer to it, so it gives you like a really nice, like dewy, shiny look. It's amazing, so loved Body Hero. These are the Nutrafol Hair Vitamins. I really liked these. I think that they did make my hair grow faster. Um, I used, I think, three bottles of this, but I wasn't saving them because I wasn't looking at them as like an empty, and then I was like, hey, they pro probably might wanna know about this. So, Nutrafol Vitamins, highly recommend. They're a great hair vitamin. They are expensive, but they, you'll notice a difference. Like, they really did make my hair grow faster. In the time that I started taking the Nutrafol Vitamins, my hair grew like four inches. My hair was past my elbows just all of a sudden. And I was like, it's because of the Nutrafol vitamins. That's the only like variable that changed. Moving into skincare because we have a ton of stuff to talk about. Um, let's start off with something that I didn't really like. So these are the Lemon Gauze Neogen Dermology Advanced Peeling Pads. I love a good peel pad. Like I love a good chemical exfoliation. So I was all on board with these. Did not like them. I didn't feel like they made my skin glowy. Usually when you use like a good chemical exfoliant, your face just looks like a baby's butt and it's so soft and glowy and plush and plump. Um, I didn't really notice a difference with these. I don't know. Maybe they just weren't like for me. Um, I also tried the Pixi Glow Tonic To Go. These are really nice. They're just these little tiny pads. If you guys have ever used the um, OxyClean pads or the Clean and Clear pads, it's one of those really thin pads saturated with Pixi's Glow Tonic, and they're really nice. They're really convenient. They come in this little jar. It's a lot more convenient when you're traveling because then you don't have to bring like a bottle of Pixi Glow Tonic. Logica pre cleanse. This is kind of like a pre cleansing balm. I would use it to remove my makeup before I go in with my cleansing, whatever cleansing cream, cleansing bar. Um, I really liked this. It does take off waterproof makeup, so that was really nice. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys about this. So, if you remember, maybe it was like a year ago, I talked about being really excited to get the Sunday Riley Martian and Saturn products because these are supposed to be great for acne. These burned my skin. The Saturn mask, my eyes were swollen. I had hives. Like, I'm allergic to something in these. And then the same thing happened with this. I had, like, you could see where this had been on my face because I put this on my face. It's a toner. And you could see, like, where I had put it because my skin was, like, so inflamed in certain areas. You could see, like, my fingertip marks, you know, blending it in. And so it was crazy. These didn't work for me, but I know a lot of people really like these, but unfortunately I'm just allergic to something in them. So they did not end up working out for me. Oh, the Embryolisse, I used this up. I love this. This is a really great moisturizer for all skin types. And especially if you just want something that kind of like leaves the skin feeling hydrated with a slightly mattified finish. And it's perfect for using prior to makeup application. You guys know I usually wear a sunscreen every day. I used up an entire thing of the Revlon Prep and Protect Primer. Um, this is SPF 34. It's really nice. It has a nice fluid consistency. It sinks into the skin really quick, nice and light. I also thought that the packaging was really nice. I just like how it's in this tiny little container. It's easy to travel with. And the packaging is like really chic, you know? It looks like a little Chanel bottle or something. So love that, would repurchase. Um, this is something that I really liked. This is the Vici Rich Cream. Um, I love this. It's so rich, it's so hydrating. It makes your skin visibly dewy. And it's just so nice. Like I like this daytime and nighttime because I love to be a hydrated bitch. And I love to have like 
really hydrated skin. I used up two different vitamin C serums. So this one is the 20% C plus E plus ferulic acid serum. I purchased this one off of Amazon for around $20 and then the drunk elephant one, which is around $80. So huge difference in price, really similar product. Now, I will say that this one and this one, they're incredibly similar, the way they go on the skin, the way they make my skin feel, the brightness effect that I feel in my skin and all of that. I really like the both of these and I don't think necessarily that the Drunk Elephant one is that much better than this one. However, I will say that this one expired way too early. This one expired maybe less than a month of having it and it already had oxidized and turned a dark, dark orange color. Whereas my Drunk Elephant one I had for almost six months and just on the very end of its bottle, it was turning that dark orange color. So I feel like you get a better deal with the Drunk Elephant one because it will last you longer because it comes in this packaging to prevent the vitamin C from going bad. So this one's not bad, it's just you'll, you'll have to go through it really fast. So I wouldn't repurchase this one because I feel like if I'm purchasing it every month for $20, I might as well just splurge and get the Drunk Elephant one that comes with this packaging. So love that. Vitamin C is so amazing. Definitely try to work it into your skincare because it makes a big difference. Another Drunk Elephant product. This is the Proteini Polypeptide Cream. I really like this. It's a nice lightweight cream and I mix this with another moisturizer. So I would repurchase this, but the only thing is that if you're a dry skin girl like myself, it's not going to be the best moisturizer for you. So mix it in with something else but it has like really amazing ingredients to it. It's got the peptides and it's supposed to be really great for anti-aging. So um, yeah, I really liked this, would recommend this one. Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. I love the smell of Estee Lauder products. Um, I use this relatively quick because it's actually pretty tiny. I really liked this stuff. It's just, it's very pricey and it's not something I would find myself repurchasing regularly just because I go through facial moisturizers quite quickly and this one was a little bit more of a splurge. Um, I love it and I recommend it. It's just, it's so expensive. I felt guilty buying it all the time and that is the thing keeping me from trying La Mer because if I like it, it's just so expensive and I go through moisturizers so crazy quick. Um, this is the Cetaphil, 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 Cetaphil Rich Hydrating Cream. This is a facial moisturizer. I really liked this stuff. Um, it's actually quite expensive for Cetaphil. I think this was like almost $25. Um, I really liked it though. I would highly recommend. This one is the face cream for dry to extra dry skin. Another moisturizer that I used up was my Avienne Extremely Rich Compensating Cream. I love, I just love smelling these because they, they all like smell like different times of the year when I was using them. So it's kind of crazy. This one like makes me think of Hawaii because I use this one in Hawaii. I love this. I definitely see myself repurchasing this once it starts getting really cold because I use this around January, February, March of last year and it was so nice to have during the extra cold months. So I would highly recommend that. This is Purity by Philosophy. I couldn't even finish this because I just got so bored with it. Um, it's a really great cleanser. I have so many other cleansers though and I just didn't want to finish this. So it's getting the axe because it, it got old before I could get to the end of it. It just, it didn't excite me anymore and I like cleansing balms and stuff better now. So I don't know, it's not a bad product. It's just, it's not my favorite anymore. This little, you know, crunched up tube is the A313 Pomade amazing will repurchase it's a great anti-aging balm um it really changed my skin it's great for fine lines wrinkles all that stuff um and now i've got this gross little tube to show for it don't worry guys we are nearing the end uh this is another cleanser that i used up completely from juice beauty it's the green apple brightening cleanser loved this it's my favorite to use in the morning time it's just like a nice light gel cleanser um nothing crazy and it smells really amazing as well this is the Paul's Choice Skin Perfecting AHA Gel. It also has glycolic acid. This stuff is amazing. I think Paul's Choice products are really great. My only gripe with this was after a while it started to smell really bad. Like really bad. It started to smell like sauerkraut. And it was only when I was like 
you know, halfway through the bottle. And I was like, why does this smell so bad? So, I don't know. I know some glycolic products smell bad, but this one just like had an unusual rank to it. Um, but it's an amazing product. So I stuck with it and kept using it, but I'm on the hunt for a new glycolic acid because I do want to try another one or I might just repurchase this one. Like the smell did not deter me from the amazing effects of this product. It will make your skin really nice and soft. Mario Badescu, this is the facial spray with aloe, rose, and herbs. Um, I really liked this. It's amazing. I do think that this is actually better than the one by Glossier because this one has like more glycerin in it or something because this makes your skin more dewy. So I would definitely repurchase this. Um, it's probably my favorite rose water spray that I've tried so far. And then we have the Ula Henriksen Nurture Me Facial Water. This stuff is so good. It's very soothing. I love the smell of it. It's something that I kept by my bed and I was just spray it on before I went to bed. Um, really like it, would highly recommend. Again though, I like to try new things. Um, if I really like something, I do repurchase it, but you know, it has to like really capture me. I'm still not used to like this hair. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing I have is the chemistry brand, Hand Chemistry Pro Repair Skincare for Hands. I got this because it's one of those like Dicium brands and I just thought it was so intriguing. And it's supposed to uh, like really help in age, hand aging, and like make your hands look 10 years younger when you use it. I wouldn't repurchase. It wasn't any better than any other hand cream I've ever I've ever tried. So I didn't really think that this was worth it. And it was also like $30, so. But I'll try anything to mention in a video for you guys. All right guys, so those are all the products that I've used up recently. I now have this giant pile of trash to deal with, so I'm gonna tend to that. If you guys have any questions about these products, like maybe I didn't hit something specific that you wanted to know about one of them, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll always do my best to get back to you guys. I will have these products list and linked. Li oh my God, I hate when I say that. I always say that. I will have these products listed and linked in the description box for you. I will also have my Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, so please be sure to come follow me on there. Um, I don't know. I feel like we need something to like fill the space right here, right here. So I might get a plant for like right this area. And then, um, yeah, what do you guys think about the new filming setup? I really love filming with natural light as much as possible, but during the winter months, that's just not always realistic, especially because it gets dark so early and because the lighting is just so erratic. Um, I really wanted to, again, utilize my filming room so that I could consistently put out content for you guys. So other than that, I think that's all I wanted to mention. If there's anything you guys want to see specifically coming up soon, leave a comment down below. I'm always looking forward to your guys' video suggestions and I will see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you didn't earlier. Bye guys.